Hello there guys, welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today we're based in Adobe Photoshop and yet again it's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics here to show you some really cool stuff. What I would like to do today guys is show you how to create this photo copy scan lines effect within Adobe Photoshop. A really, really cool idea that you can apply and all you need to do is follow the processes that I tell you today. Okay, so what I'm going to do yet again is just take my top layer here just press backspace to remove and set that top uh, group of layout there. And we started off with our original image. What I need to do is convert this into a smart object. So I'm gonna right click on the layout and convert to smart object. And using the shortcut Command J on Mac or Control J on Windows, I'm gonna duplicate this twice. I'm just gonna turn off our top layer here, like so. And with our middle layer highlighted, I'm gonna to come to filter, blur, motion blur and i'm going to keep the distance to about 500 and keep the angle at zero and let's press okay and then what i need to do to that layer is add a layer mask like so and with my brush and make, make sure my foreground color is on black here make sure i'm using a sort of soft round brush it's going to come through and just remove a little bit of that edge there like so Okay, wonderful. And now with the top layer turned back on, I'm gonna come through and go to filter, blur, motion blur again. Now I'm just gonna increase the distance now to around 750. Yet again, keeping the angle at zero. And yet again, I'm gonna add a layer mask to that. And I'm gonna come through and just remove the left, well, the right hand side here like so. Okay, and the bottom one here, I'm just going to add a layer mask to this one here and just remove the right hand side, left hand side here, like so. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is group all these elements together. So I'm just going to come through here and press and highlight the top layer and the bottom one by pressing shift and pressing command G to group these all up together, like so. I'm just going to duplicate that. Command J, and I'm just going to turn off that top layer like so. Now, with that bottom group highlighted, what I'm now going to do is come to our filter. That's right. First of all, I need to merge all these layers together. So I'm going to press Command E to merge all these layers together, or Control E on um, Windows. So if I now come to filter, filter gallery. As you can see, we have the three filters that I've applied. The first one that I applied was graphic pen. Okay. I've kept the stroke line at two and I've kept the sort of light and dark, dark balance at 41 and kept the stroke direction as horizontal. I then came to the plus sign here and added our halftone pattern filter. Kept the size at one, to be honest, and the contrast at zero, but just make sure that you're using a pattern type of line. And then what I did is come through and apply a grain, keeping the intensity at 50 and sort of the contrast quite high. So now if I press OK, you can see I have created the photocopy scan lines effect very nicely within Adobe Photoshop. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, the courses that we offer, guys, please take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Thank you very much. Take care and I'll see you next time.